who's in and who's out if it was today for the new Major League Fishing format. So if you're like me, yesterday, another format change for Major League Fishing. It seems like it's a yearly thing. But the biggest thing that they did yesterday was that they talked about in 2025, only 50 anglers were going to make the MLF Bass Pro Tour. So it got me thinking, who would those 35 be if it was for 2024? I know, mind boggling. That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you missed the news, yesterday I made a video of all the new changes that are coming out for Major League Fishing for 2024 and also 2025. And it got me really thinking about what's going on and why. But more importantly, it got me thinking who would be the top anglers in and the big anglers that we're going to lose. It made me think there's probably a lot of people that are going to be fishing the Invitationals or they might go to NPFL or they might go back to Bass. It's going to make the undercard, the Invitationals and the Opens that much more competitive. Because what they're doing is in 2025, Major League Fishing is going to take the top 35 anglers of their lifetime AOI standings. Then they'll take the top 10 2024 single year that didn't qualify ver via the top 35 AOI. I know that sounds confusing and it was a little bit confusing to me. And then they're going to take the top five from the 2024 Invitational. So who does that leave in and who does that leave out right now? What I did was I compiled a list of all the anglers who competed in the BPT for 2023. I wrote down, I typed all their names and their points from the 2023 season, excluding KVD who was retiring. I put that inside of a spreadsheet, which I'm not very good at, and then went back to 2019, giving each year, put inputting each year into the spreadsheet to get me who were the top 35 anglers as of the 2023 year-end season, lifetime angler of the year, and then who were outside of the top 35, because there are a lot of great anglers outside that are now looking in. Now again, in, 2020, in 2025, they'll take the top 35 anglers and then take 10, the best 10 who didn't qualify in the lifetime out of the 2024 season and that'll give them 45 and then five invitationals but who are the top 35 as of right now at the end of the 2023 season jacob wheeler's number one ott defoe is number two jordan lee michael neal alton jones jr D dustin connell jeff sprague Brent Ayler, Mark Rose, Andy Morgan, Edwin Evers, Justin Lucas, Adrian Avina, Mark Daniels Jr., Todd Faircloth, Alton Jones, Zach Burge, Stephen Browning, Jesse Wiggins, Andy, Andy Montgomery, Takahiro Omori, Mark Daniels, Andrew Gagliardi, Anthony Gagliardi, and I gotta put a little thing here so I know where, it's, where to end, Jared Littner, Fletcher Shryrock, Wesley Strader, Casey Ashley, uh, Jared Sfor, Greg Vinson, Chris Lane, Cody Meyer, Randall Tharp, Josh Bertrand, Luke Clausen, and the last one at 35 is Fred Rubanis. When you get outside of that top 35 is where it gets a little interesting. Now again, they'll take the top 10 anglers from the 2024 season who don't make it here, but out right now, if they did that for the 2024 season, at, 35, at 36 is James Elam, Brian Thrift, Jonathan Van Dam, Brent Chapman, Cliff Pace, Bradley Roy, Terry Scroggins, Brett Height, Scott Suggs, and then at 45, and I misnumbered it, would be Keith, Keith Pouchet. First one out would be Skeet Reese. He would be at 46. Think about that. Skeet Reese, Angler of the Year, Classic winner. He's sitting in 46th place right now. So, and really he's out, he's outside of that. Because if you look at some of the, the anglers that have don't have four or five years in, you have like Matt Becker, who has won the AOI last year. And other anglers like, oh my gosh, there's a lot of them. You have, you know, Ryan Salzman, Dylan Hayes. Cole Floyd, Spencer Shuffleton, Josh Butler, Nick LeBron, Jacob Wall, Mitch Crane. These guys have done well in the seasons that they're there. And hopefully what 
Major League Fishing will do is they'll take an average and then do it that way. Because if they don't, the guys that just started the last two years are kind of really SOL'd. But let's not let's keep it going. Outside of that top 46, we had Skeet Reese, Brandon Coulter, Britt Myers, Randy Howell, Matt Lee, David Dudley. I mean, David went from NPFL announcer to now he's outside of the top 45, only because he only has four years in Major League Fishing. Marty Robinson, Shin Fukai, Dave Lefebvre, Dean Lo Rojas, Gary Klein, James Watson, who I don't think should be in at all, David Walker, Russ Lane, John Murray, Kelly Jordan, Jeff Critt, Tim, Timmy Horton, Dakota Ibre, Roy Hawk, Boyd Duckett, Cliff Crochet, Tommy Biffle, Jeremy Lawyer, and Mike McClellan. All those guys are out. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens in 2024 and where the list shakes up. And we'll keep track of it as much as possible. I mean, I did all this work. This was not just a little bit of work. I mean, I've done graphics and I can do editing. I can tell you one thing. I can't do a spreadsheet. It just, just isn't me. I figured it out. It took a little bit. But I'll keep up with this and we'll see how we do or see where, where people end up as the year goes on. Because it'll be fun and interesting to see who moves up and who moves, who's out. Like I said, I think, I think the NPFL and the Opens and the Invitationals just got a lot better. And I can see a lot of anglers moving over to NPFL just because of the money money. They have $100,000 to win. I don't think the Opens and the Invitationals pay enough to make it really successful if you're a family person. I think you, have, you might have to do something else. But I'm not on either one of those, so I really don't know. But it's a lot of money to get into those tournaments. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It'll be interesting to see where anglers go and what happens. So tell me what you think. Is there some guys that you want to see move up? Are there other guys you want to see move down? Comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Two videos in two days. How weird is that? I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.